Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On May 10, 1864, George Washington Sargent was shot by federal troops on the back porch of his home, Gloucester. A group of five to six soldiers had been led to the property by a former sergeant slave. Upon hearing a noise, sergeant rushed onto the back porch and a struggle ensued. A pistol was discharged and sergeant fell mortally wounded. He died four days later. Members of the sergeant family pressed the Union Army for a quick court-martial of the perpetrators. Two soldiers, Private Gear and McBride, were found guilty and sentenced to death by firing squad. The Army, however, appears to have been in no rush to carry out the sentence. In a letter to a member of General Grant's staff, Sergeant's daughter, Mary Sergeant Duncan begged the commander to try and have the sentence of my father's murders duly carried into execution, for I should think that General Grant could have the order promptly obeyed, and such delay and injustice are indeed hard to bear, she wrote. The subsequent execution of the two men sent shockwaves through the regiment stationed at Fort McPherson. In one account, Edward Hobart of the 28th Illinois recalled that he visited the two men in jail shortly before they learned they had been sentenced to death. I was dumbfounded, he wrote. I had not dreamed of the awful fate so soon to be meted out to them. It was the first time I had known such a penalty, and it brought the awful reality right home to me. On the day of the execution, all troops were ordered to assemble. The prisoners, accompanied by a priest, administering the rites of the Catholic Church, as well as the twelve men from the 8th New Hampshire, who comprised the firing squad, were marked around the formation. Gary and McBride stood by the sides of their coffins. As the fateful volley rang out, Hobart recalled that he involuntarily turned away, and when he beheld the forms of the old boys, he wrote, they were silent in death, the missiles having done their work perfectly. I'm John Dickel, President and Owner of Gloucester, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.